All right, so I've got that bottom um, timing belt cover off uh, with the guide on it. Um, you should note that um, on the bottom one, uh, there are two bolts, one that goes in um, right under the thermostat and one that goes in right here that are uh, different lengths than all the others. So let me, uh, let me show you over here. What I've done is uh, put all the bolts back into this cover instead of putting it back onto the engine. Because um, you've got this long one right here. And then you've got a long one here, but it's shorter than this one because um, it's recessed a little bit back there. So make sure that you guys get um, these bolts right so that the install goes easier and goes perfect. All right, so we are going to start pulling the, uh, the belt off. So we're going to need to uh, loosen up the uh, tensioner here. So, this uh, nut, loosen that one half turn, and then there's a hole for an Allen wrench there, and then you're going to want to turn that 70 to 80 degrees and um, uh, to loosen it. And then note that the spring back here rests against this stud. Um, and then just make sure that um, your uh, belt is still in the top dead center, uh, looking at your camshaft. Um, so that white dot here lines up with the dimple. And then that white dot here lines up with the dimple. I can't tell if you can see that or not. Where my finger is right there. So it's at top dead center. So Let's start taking that off. Alright, sorry I didn't show you that guys, but um, um, like I said, one and a half, or one half turn in 70 to 80 degrees on uh, the Allen wrench, and that'll loosen it up so you can just slide it off. Now, um, let me see if you guys see that, yep. So right down in here, there's a guide that just kind of helps to hold the, the belt in um, and you just pull that off through the Woodruff key and then you'll be able to slide the belt off. Um, my belt looked pretty good um, but uh, I'm gonna change it anyways um, but I'm gonna keep that belt and uh, potentially make that into a ratchet strap um, and then, so, I'll be taking this uh, tensioner off. This is the reason why I did the job, because um, it wasn't keeping the, uh, the belt um, as tight as it should have. Um, so, we'll take that off. We'll be taking off your uh, water pump too, uh, which is right there. Put a new one in there. So we're gonna put a bucket under the, uh, the water pump, because um, there's probably some uh, fluid in there still, and Start taking that off. So, um, before I started to pull off the bolts on the water pump, I remember watching a video where a guy had uh, uh, made a drawing of his uh, water pump uh, to put um, the bolts into on the cardboard uh, so he knew where each one went when he reinstalled the new one or installed the new one. Uh, so you don't mix them up because uh, these will have uh, various sizes as well. So just a little tip uh, and I'm going to try it. Alright, let's start taking these bolts off. And then placing them on that diagram I just made. So I got the water pump off. There's a whole ton of fluid in there still because I didn't drain the engine block. 
So, you can see down here, um, you got some old gasket material um, on the, uh, the water pump housing here. So you're going to want to make sure that you get all of that off, scrape it off, um, and just make sure that that surface is as smooth as possible. Do not nick it. Um, because you'll put this all back together and it'll be leaking coolant and you'll have to take it apart again and so yeah just make sure you do not scratch or nick the surfaces at all um, and then I've got right over here the old water pump and all the bolts that went on there as you can see being lazy and just zooming in uh, those bolts are all different and uh, there are some bolts that are missing on this diagram that's because they are on that housing that cover there uh, so just make sure that you get all that right um, I pulled the uh, the nuts off the studs that hold the fan on there and uh, put them onto the new uh, water pump right there. So I'm gonna clean off the surfaces on the uh, the water pump housing here and just make sure that it's all clean and good. Alright. Alright so I uh, put the new water pump on. Um, I used a tacky sealant uh, to keep the gasket on the water pump as I applied it, uh, put a light coating of a RTV um, on top of that, and then put some of that uh, RTV um, gasket on the threads of the bolts uh, to seal those up. And so now I'm just torquing them down. And remember not to uh, tighten one down all the way, but tighten each one gradually. Um, I think the manual calls for 144 foot-pounds for the torque spec, so we'll get that tightened and uh, on to the next thing. Alright guys, um, so I am pulling off the camshaft sprocket and it is on there tighter than tight. Um, one thing that you want to make sure that you don't do is when you're trying to loosen that bolt there that you just let it spin because um, you'll cause some internal damage um, so you want to make sure that sprocket stays still while you uh, loosen uh, the nut so what you gotta do is you gotta stick something in to these hole one of these holes to stop it from moving so I, I'm using just my little uh, uh, extension here attach this ratchet to keep it still let me zoom out a little bit and I've got it attached to uh, or I've got the uh, breaker bar attached to two extensions to a 14 mil socket so you keep it still so the sprocket doesn't move and you break that free so let me take my PVC breaker bar off let me get that nut free and we'll start going alright so I got the, the nut off um, and there's a washer on it you want to make sure that you keep those together. That's how it looks. Let's see if you can see that any better. There you go. Um, so now you can pull this sprocket off. It should come off fairly easy. Remember that uh, these are labeled. Uh, left and right. Um, so make sure that you get them back on. So now uh, we'll be taking off uh, these pieces 
so that we can get to the uh, the oil seal behind here. All right, so I got the uh, uh, that back cover off and both camshaft sprockets off. So now we'll be uh, getting those uh, uh, oil seals out on both uh, camshafts. Right there, and uh, then uh, it'll be the tensioner and the the bottom uh, crankshaft oil seal, and uh, yeah, then we'll get things done. All right, so I got this first oil seal out for the uh, the right camshaft, and I used a uh, dental tool that I had. Um, for another uh, job I had done previously and um, I unscrewed this end here um, and stuck it in and uh, put a pair of vice grips on it and just kind of worked it out. Alright guys, um, so I installed the, uh, the new seals and the one uh, crankshaft, the cam seals. Just put on the new tensioner. Um, so now it's time to start buttoning things back up. I'll put on the, the sprockets. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be, everything will be the reverse of the install. All right, so I'm gonna tighten up this bolt on the camshaft and it should be tightened to I believe uh, torque spec is 58 to 65 uh, foot-pounds um, so I'm using uh, the old belt to keep it tight and uh, a torque wrench uh, to, uh, to get it at 65 pounds foot-pounds All right, so I've got the uh, the back plates on. Uh, the, I mean the the covers, the timing belt, uh, the back plates for uh, the drive belts. Um, I've got the bottom uh, harmonic balancer on, and that nut on as tight as can be. Uh, I've reconnected all the hoses that I disconnected. Um, put those clamps back on. Clip the wiring harness back to this uh, breather pipe. So the next step um, is going to be putting the belts on. Uh, these pulleys, getting those tightened up. Uh, and then the hoses for the uh, radiator. Uh, put the radiator back in put the fan back on and uh, fire it up. Uh, just a note, um, I did put some thread locker on the, the bolts for the drive drive belt frame um, and so just to keep those as tight as can be so they're not rattling at all because those have a little more torque than the other nuts and bolts on here. I think it's about probably I think 60 pounds, foot pounds. So, yep. Alright, I'll show you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so this is uh, really what we changed today. You got your uh, timing belt. You got your radiator hoses. 
you have the uh, lower, the upper, and the uh, the one from the pipe uh, to the engine block. You got your left and right camshaft seals, your uh, crankshaft seal, tensioner, thermostat, your water pump. Yeah, pretty cool.